It's Rebecca from the Reach with the Stars program at Longfellow Elementary. So for the program, we're going to be starting off something new where we will be uploading videos on activities so, so that you can do them at home. So for the first activity that we will be doing, I am going to be reading a book. And this book is called Just As Kids, Shipwrecked by Dee Stewart. Now we're going to be taking this activity one chapter at a time. I'm going to read a chapter, and we're also going to have some questions that I want you to answer. All right? So let's first start off with the materials you need. The materials needed. A notebook, so then you can write down all of your essay questions for every chapter. A pencil, to help you write down all your amazing answers. And some good listening ears. Okay, so for today's video, April 9th, 2020, we are going to read the objective for Just As Kids Shipwrecked. After, after we have done that, we're going to do an overview of the essay questions. And I'm going to give you this time to um, look through the, through the essay questions so then you can write them down in your notebook if you would like. And the reason I want to show you the questions before we read is so you have an opportunity to know what they are and to look for the answers as we read. Okay, so after you have that time to write down your answers for the, for the essay question, write down your questions for the chapter, we are going to read chapter one. And then finally, once that's done, I'm going to go back to the essay questions and we're going to look at them one more time. Okay? So this is what the book looks like, just as kids should write. So, objectives. Students will follow along with the teacher and read just as kids ship back. Once the reading is done, students will participate in a few short essay questions at the end regarding the day's reading. Okay, so chapter one questions. Number one, what are the names of the five characters in the story and how old are they? Number two, what is in Tyler's survival kit and what would you have in your survival kit? Number three, how long can the body go without food, without water? And number four, what do you think of the book so far, and what do you think is going to happen next? Okay, and if you see on the bottom, there's a little remember. Because remember, keep your notebook with all your answers to receive raffle tickets when I see you again. So again, this is why I, want, I would like you to have a notebook to... Do this activity so you can keep track of all of your questions for each chapter. So when we are given the opportunity to see each other again, I can look at all of your pages with all of your questions and your answers, and I will give you credit for them. I'll give you raffles and tickets to go into the raffle. All right? Okay. Let's start. Just as kids, shipwrecked. <clears throat> Tyler Hartman had made many mistakes, but today was the worst so far. The ship he was on with his mom had been caught in a storm and slammed against some rocks. Soaked by the pouring rain and confused by the darkness, Tyler and the other children had jumped into a lifeboat. It was what they'd been taught by the captain their first day on the ship. But the adults had all gotten on a separate lifeboat. When the two crafts hit the water and were battered by the waves, they had been no way to keep them together. We are on our own, just as kids. All right, chapter one. I want my mom... The youngest boy finally says, throwing his little cries when the sun comes up. At least it isn't dark anymore. It's all right, Rory says, and I almost believe her. She's the only other kid I know out of this bunch. We hung out some time during the first ten days of this voyage. That was before everything went wrong. Rory is close to my age. She's ten, and I'm eleven. The three other other kids are younger, probably seven or eight. I know so the younger you are, the more scared you get when things happen. 
don't tell him that, another little boy cries. You don't know if we are all right. We're lost at sea and alone. We don't have anything we need. Everyone is looking at me and waiting for me to tell them what to do. Even Rory is. I guess being the oldest means you're in charge. Rory is right, I say, having to clear my dry throat. We are going to be fine. I'm Tyler. What are your names? Willie, the youngest crying boy says. Tom, the cranky boy answers. Julie, the quiet little girl holding a doll says. We're going to be fine, I tell them and hope they believe me. This is what you're supposed to do for little kids. If we are going to get out of this, I know for sure crying won't help. We need to figure out what we have for supplies. Food, water, a way to communicate. I have two bottles of water, Rory says, pulling them out of her pink bag with a silly unicorn on the front. When I first saw it back on the main ship, I thought the bag was ugly. Now I'm happy to see it. Any supplies we have are better than none. I have a granola bar, Willie says with a little whistle when he speaks from his missing front teeth. My mom always puts snacks in my pocket. I'm so hungry. We can't eat or drink any of it yet. I'm no extra, but I know my stuff better than most kids. I've done wilderness training for the last four summers, and this trip to Australia is my dream come true. I'm ready for an adventure, just not with any, without any adults. That's not part of the plan. My mom and I flew to England and boarded the Odin, the ship that would take us on the long journey to Australia. It was beautiful and sailed smoothly for the first part of the trip. I wish we were back on the Odin right now instead of the small lifeboat bobbing at sea. I'm so thirsty, Willie complains. His red hair, so bright, it's the same color as the rising sun. His freckles are glowing bright, and his skin looks like it will burn easily if we don't get him some sunscreen. What else do we have? Rory asks, pointing to my bag. I list out what I have in my survival kit. Eight-hour light stick, box of waterproof matches, 12 emergency drinking water pouches, multi-tool survival knife, Survival whistles, 50-foot all-purpose utility rope. I felt silly having all this stuff in my pack earlier, but now I'm, now I'm glad. Better safe than sorry. That's what all the guidebooks tell you. But what about food? Julie asks, whimpering because her stomach is rumbling. I'm hungry too. But I know it's not the most important problem we have right now. You can live up to three weeks without food. I explain, not thinking how dumb I'm being. Little kids can't think about things like that without getting scared. I don't want to be that hungry, Julie moans. Three weeks? I try to make her feel better. You should be more concerned about water. You can only live three or four days without water. That's a real problem. All three kids start crying and my stomach turns from hungry to flip-flopping with worry. Man, I'm not good with little kids. We have water and we're going to get food, Rory says, walking on the wobbly boat and crouching down in front of them. I promise. I want to tell Rory that she can't promise that, but somehow the little kids stop crying and that's more important than arguing about who is right or wrong. What can we eat? Julie asks looking around the small lifeboat. This is my granola bar, Willie says, holding it up close to him and pouting. Everything belongs to all of us now, I say, standing up and trying to balance. The only way we're going to survive this is together. We have to be a team. Do you know what to do? Tom asks. His cheeks still have tears on them. His face is round and his cheeks are as pudgy as a chutney chipmunks. I saw him once on the Odin. I know he had glasses. 
They probably fell off in the storm. I look at Roy, who is making a weird face at me. It's like she's telling me I'd better say yes, even if the answer's no. Of course, I answer, puffing up my chest and trying to look bigger than I am. I know exactly what to do. All right. So there is our first chapter. Okay. So we're going to review again these chapter questions. So number one. What are the names of the five characters in the story? How old are they? Number two. What is in Tyler's survival kit? And what would you have in your survival kit? Number three. How long can the body go without food? Without water? And number four. What do you think of the book so far? And what do you think is going to happen next? Okay. So feel free to rewind this video to go back to the section where I'm reading the chapter if you missed some of the answers, okay? Try your best. All your answers are correct. Just do the best you can. And again, keep your notebook together with all the pages together, okay? So at the end, when I see you again, I can give you some credit for them. All right? Stay safe. Hope to see you all soon. Bye.